first Jane's of Digital. Uh, let us know what you thought. I was really impressed with the quality of the discussion. I thought that um, people really showed vulnerability, they showed courage and a willingness to put themselves out there on what can be very sensitive and sometimes controversial topics for people. Um, I love being the first male panelist. I hope there are more. Um, certainly, you know, men are allies to, you know, the, the gender balance. Mm -hmm. I think the things that we talk about at the Janes, at the Janes of Digital events are so important. And yeah. so being able to participate was just, it was an honor. That's all I can say. It was an amazing experience. The people here were so open, caring, giving, uh, supportive and intelligent. The, the questions we got were so thoughtful. Was there something tonight that a panelist shared or an audience member asked a question that was new, a new thought for you or something you're really gonna take away and think about or, or put into action? You know, I'm most struck by uh, Karen sharing her story yeah. of being the first person to go through a gender transition and how important it was to her to have a sense of affinity with those around her and how lonely it can be yeah. to trailblaze. My takeaway is this, that I need to continue to drive positive change for the benefit of everybody in my company. It's not just about me, it's about all the people that have not yet come out and said, I stand here before you as my authentic self. As I was sitting on the panel, I was thinking, you know, should we really be telling our stories? And I just had an audience member say to me that that was perhaps her most valued contribution, was feeling that connection and hearing those stories. The conversations have, been, have evolved about how we treat each other online, which we're all online all the time. Yeah. And so that's really important. And also, how are we including people? And it's even expanding out from women to how are we including everyone? How are we including, um, you know, people of color? How are we including uh, people that identify differently? Um, and I think that those conversations are really important because those types of conversations are the conversations that are going to drive innovation in companies. You were speaking about the work uh, Microsoft is doing around diversity and inclusion uh, on the panel. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about you know, what the main focus is or what you're most excited about that, that's kind of happening at the company now? Absolutely. Look, I think that leadership accountability is really exciting and, and it's coming from Satya. Yeah. So, you know, you know, he's absolutely a believer in diversity and inclusion. It's part of our culture. We're holding our leaders accountable. We're also holding people managers accountable for it as well. And I think the main thing that we all should realize is we're all leaders. Yeah. You know, this starts with all of us as well. So throughout the company, you know, we're really embracing this and holding people accountable. Um, and it's, it's good for our business and it's good for our people. There's been a lot of interesting research lately that shows that it's that having a forum for women to talk about issues that are important to them increases equality. That's what Janes of Digital is all about, raising awareness for women, getting these wonderful, intelligent people that have so much to give, yeah. giving them something that says, we recognize you, we support you, and you're a valuable asset to our business. Yeah, I would love to be a part of this another time and I will follow you guys going forward.